Hi everybody, it's Adam with heartvalvesurgery.com and we are in Los Angeles, California at the Society of Thoracic Surgeons Conference. I am thrilled to be joined by Dr. Ibrahim Sultan, who is the Chief of Cardiac Surgery at UPMC in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Dr. Sultan, it is great to see you again. Thanks for being with me. Great to see you. Yeah, so we're here at SDS and we're learning a lot. We're getting patient questions as well. This comes at us from John, who's asking for a patient who is 65 and female with Barlow mitral valve disease. Would she be eligible for a less invasive robotic assisted mitral valve repair? Maybe you can help our community not just answer that question, but share a little bit about what Barlow's is. Yeah. So a Barlow's mitral valve is, is a category of a leaky mitral valve or degenerative mitral valve, where both leaflets of the mitral valve are rather bulky, have a certain deficiency, and contribute to leak. Now, patients can be highly symptomatic from that with trouble breathing, trouble lying flat, and over time having some degree of heart failure. Now, most, 98% of degenerative mitral valves can be repaired successfully as long as they are not tight with very good results. Now, when we look at patients, at least in Pittsburgh at UPMC, the question we ask is not if somebody's eligible, if somebody's ineligible for less invasive or robotic assisted mitral valve surgery. So when they come see us, we assume and expect that they will be candidates. But there are some patients who've had surgery on their lung uh, or have very small blood vessels that may not be ideal candidates for robotic assisted less invasive repair. But outside of that, uh, most patients are, and most patients do just as well, and it's a very safe therapy. Wow, well, John, I hope that helped you. I know it helped me. And Dr. Sultan, on behalf of John, patients at heartvalvesurgery.com and patients all over the world, thanks so much to you and your team at UPMC in Pittsburgh for all the great work that you're doing helping patients. Thanks for being with me today. Great, thank you, Adam. Hi everybody, it's Adam. I hope you enjoyed that video. And don't forget, you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel. Watch the next two educational videos coming up on your screen or click the blue button to visit heartvalvesurgery.com.